fucked up. It was such a twisted video, man. I don't mean to, but I, just to, just to inform you, dudes, like this gotta, I gotta like catch y'all up to this. Oh, they found the nigga. They found the other nigga. Damn. All right, hold on a second. This is a this is a crazy story, but just to kind of give it a little quick background, um, in about two weeks ago in the Bronx. Uh, there was a kid, 15 years old, and he was in a bodega or something. Two cars pulled up to this nigga, and dudes jumped out the car with machetes and knives. And they all, like, it was like eight niggas, and they all started going in on just, just cutting him, slashing him. And it turns out that this was apparently an act towards someone who fucked one of those dudes sisters in a video that was posted to facebook so some some savage disgusting shit right and they thought that that kid the 15 year old kid was that dude and it actually wasn't so it was it was a case of mistaken identity and gang violence towards it it was it was it was ridiculous bro like did y'all niggas i don't know if they're gonna show the actual video because the thing is it was all caught on tape and that's what makes it fucked up you just see them damn bro i mean it's, it's hard to watch, and I don't think you should watch it, but there were, like, a lot of people that were in on this thing, man. Like you said, you see right here, they're talking about, oh, we we caught two more arrests, man. And they said something about, what, the 10th suspect? The 10th suspect, bro? Listen, man, 10 suspect, 10 niggas cutting into you with a fucking machete. A kid, of course he died. It's fucked up, man, but I mean, damn. In the brutal machete murder of 15 year old Junior Guzman. They caught Police. this nigga? Both suspects. They need to execute all these boys. Walking out of the precinct and expected soon to appear in court. I would just report Josh Heiniger live in the Bronx in the Claremont section. Josh? Yeah, shot about an hour ago. Those two suspects were. Someone said you got a link to that Facebook sex. <laughs> Look, I'm. That's not even fucking funny. Led by police. That's, that's, that's just not United. even funny. One that's fucking horrible. I know. When he heard a small. He smart? Onlookers. Josh? Yeah, shot about an hour ago, those two suspects were led by police out of the 4-8 tonight, and one of them actually smirked when he heard a small crowd of onlookers start wow. to heckle him with what's now become a trending hashtag, Justice wow. for Junior. Wow. 29-year-old Diego Suero, 26-year-old Gabriel Ramirez. Look at Oh, this is old. I mean, look, I'm, I'm 28, so you know, I'm, I'm an old head too. I'm 28 years old. I'm a year younger than this guy. But I mean, god damn it, bro! You're a fucking grown man. You, you probably have a kid on, like, or something, right? How are you out here doing gang hits with a bunch of niggas? I know the gang life is serious, you know, like. It's 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 like a fucking a family type thing in a lot of major cities. So I'm not trying to dump on that. I don't want like you know because a lot in a lot of ways the gang life it's not necessarily always like bad. I, I've seen a lot of instances where the shit is positive and it helps young men to kind of get direction in their lives, protection in sometimes raw neighborhoods. There's a lot of good um, that comes with certain types of gang. You know it depends. Like I've seen a lot of good happen from them too. So I don't want to like completely like invalidate all that but i mean fuck man to do all the fuckery the coonery the buffoonery the tomfoolery my nigga none of that shit is necessary not especially at this age you do over this shit old diego suero and 26 year old gabriel ramirez concepcion became the, the ninth fuck? and tenth suspected gang this fake ass jim jones the execution of a 15 year old police explorer who wow, wanted to be a cop bro. when he grew up lisandro guzman felice was known as junior and last month was set upon and oh, they, this is the video right here. It's, it's this is twisted. Man. Police have called a case of the whole thing identity. was filmed. You see them cutting the into this tell kid. Eyewitness news: Three of the eight men already charged in the murder have been placed in isolation at Rikers. Look, bro. Look, bro. Like I don't know what's going on with my nigga up here, bro. But I mean, I can see why you resorted to the gang life, bro. There was nothing else that was going to work out for your dumbass. Protect them from the other inmates in a case that made international news. I mean, this is the memorial the now. Bronx community against gang violence. I didn't see it myself, but there's like, it's crazy. It's huge with a bunch of fucking candles, man. It, it, it's really heartbreaking what happened, but to see the aftermath and all the people that came together, I think Cardi B talked about this shit and a bunch of other entertainers, man. It's big, bro. Like, I think she made the hashtag justice for junior. So wait, where's my fucking audio? Oh, here we go. And a case that's made international news and galvan bro listen i'm telling like um the pit of randomness said they should have let those inmates beat the shit out of them yeah I, I feel like that too man so there's some instances in the world where certain people and i don't want to sound like i'm i'm on like an a totally intolerant level but i mean there's just some people in this world honestly that just don't deserve to be here bro i'm not saying that they they deserve death but i'm just saying like they need to either be in jail or be dead, bro. Like, there's just some people that you cannot 
make compromise with. There's some evil niggas out here. They got to go. Instant, there's no question, all right? And I think these these filthy niggas are part of that, bro. Like, regardless of if the kid was even innocent or not, guilty or not, it doesn't matter. What, what, like, how do you do that, bro? Like, to, to to be real with you, bro. Like, I'm not. I'm not. I've never ever tried to make it seem like I'm any kind of tough guy or gangster or anything like that on this YouTube shit. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I'm just myself, really. But there's something like like when it comes to inflicting harm against somebody, there's varying levels to it. All right. Now, if I was ever in like a fight where i had to defend myself i don't mind hurting somebody else i don't mind punching kicking etc but to mortally wound someone who i don't know who's innocent like it would take something crazy for me to get to that level and definitely not influence from a fucking gang it would it would take like i don't i don't know bro like it, to, to get pushed to the extent where you're willing to inflict harm on somebody else without any reservation is fucking crazy to me man it just shows you how some people think if you grow up in that kind of environment though and that's the thing i know a lot of niggas that grown up in that environment i know some niggas that are crazy just don't give a fuck bro and it's like how the fuck did this happen we both grew up in brooklyn man <laughs> we're both low middle income how the fuck did you turn out to be a monster i mean and it's like Sometimes, man, it's, 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 it's genetics, uh, how you're you know, raised and all that stuff. This stuff is crazy if you're abused and shit. Being abused is a big part of it, too. Uh, holy shit, that's scary. Um, I was born in and visit the Bronx often, and I recognize that block. Jesus Christ, salt. This is this is you, my nigga? Um, Ninjax, thank you for the spawns, love, man. Ninjax, real deal, Neil. Kem Kimi Khan, ironic shit lord, Jonah. Morio7347 and Ray Soldier. Shout out to all of you guys. Thank you so much for the sponsor, love. I appreciate that. And what the fuck? You're talking about Glitchy Stone. What, what do you mean? What did Glitchy say? Glitchy says, I can feel the world crying and it's on my show. <laughs> what the fuck kind of Michael Jackson, we are the world type shit are you on right now, my boy? You need to have a seat. <laughs> we are the, like, no, nigga, stop. <laughs> it's okay. The world ain't that bad of a place. Oh, hold on, let me, let me all play of the suspects here. are charged with a litany of crimes, including murder, manslaughter, and. Nigga, a that's a new word for me. A litany of crimes? A litany of crimes. A litany of crimes. Nigga, fuck. I gotta look that up. Litany. Litany, meaning. What's that mean? Litany. Litany of crimes, bro. A serious... Wait, no, a series of petitions for use in church service or processions usually recited by the clergy and responded to in a re recurring formula by the people. Okay, okay. A tedious recital or repetitive series. A litany! Well, you know what, friends? You cannot, you cannot say that you ain't learned nothing new on this bitch, man. I didn't even know what the fucking word meant. Now I know. I can say, oh, shit, there's a litany of niggas. Oh, shit, there's, there's a... There's, I, I I I I pulled down her panties and there's a litany of hair. That 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 you know not not exactly the most refined uses of the words, but I mean that that that, that can kind of work. You know what I mean? We got something new here. Well, how do you say it one more time? Litany. Litany. Got you. Shit. Including murder, manslaughter, up. and gang assault, but only Diego Suero, one of the cases tonight, has also been charged with conspiracy. Both conspiracy now heading to Bronx night court for their arraignments, but we'll probably hear more detailed information about the roles God they play in this monstrous act of violence. Ten people now under arrest. Ten a case that's not yet closed. And they all got first degree murder. And in or fact, police murder. have not said if they believe there are other suspects out there, but they have said that they'll stop at nothing to lock up anyone remotely involved in this case. God damn. At Raymore and Flanagan's Independence Day sale, celebrate the freedom of- I love it. Listen, the adpocalypse came through shitting on YouTube for putting fucking crazy content next to their ads. And Raymore and Flanagan's right here on top of one of the worst murders to ever happen in New York history due to the footage and the graphic nature of it. Raymore and Flanagan, get your goddamn- I'm just being a salty nigga, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, still, it's kind of like, huh? Really, nigga? But okay. Ah. Shit was fucked up, man. But you know what? I, I don't want to like stay on that. Oh, okay, these niggas are part of the Trinitarios gang. Trinitarios gang. Ten suspect was arrested Tuesday night. Twenty-six year old Gabriel Ramirez, uh, charge of murder, manslaughter, gang assault, and criminal presumption. Uh, shit. And look at the ages of these niggas, man. 24, 24, 23, 21, 18, 21, 21, 19. Bro, the older I get, the the more I realize just where in my life certain changes happen that I wouldn't be like a, a crazy nigga later on. You know what I'm saying? Like, it takes a lot of role models, I think, you know? Like, hopefully, I don't know, man. I mean, if there's some of y'all niggas in here that are younger, I'm not saying that I'm a shining beacon of being a role model, but you know, I mean, hopefully, 
hopefully my videos kept you from doing something stupid i would like to think that i mean there's you all, every youtuber gets those messages where it's like oh you prevented me from doing suicide nigga i love you like everyone gets that and you know i'm not trying to downplay that but i mean i'm hoping that this shit I do also had a good effect on people, you know what I'm saying? I know one thing, I, I, my, my videos and all the shit that I do, man, got somebody's dick sucked around here. So, um, shout out to that nigga. I think it was Joshua J. 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 <laughs> it was Joshua, it was that nigga. Hold on, at least you're out, out there killing people. Well, um, I was thinking about changing the channel theme to something a little bit more risque for um, views and clicks, and then that might just be it, man. I mean, yo, man, tell me about y'all, bro. How y'all been? I feel like I haven't haven't talked to you dudes directly in a little bit, man. These streams, videos, and make me do dumb shit. Well, well, besides posting stupid highlights, all I don't see what the problem is. The song played three times now. Shit, man, 